For a century, its true identity lay hidden. Its brilliance shrouded by coats of varnish, decades of grime and attempts at restoration. So it was passed off only as an imitation of the great Sandro Botticelli's 15th century work. But now, after two years of detective work by English heritage experts, it's been unmasked as a genuine Renaissance treasure. We're able to say now, amazingly, after two years in the studio and the restoration process, that it is, in fact, from his workshop. Even if you know only a little bit about art history, you will be quite familiar with a, a sort of Botticelli look, if you like. So to have the privilege of working on something like this for the last couple of years, having studied art history myself, it's just been an amazing experience. Renowned for his life-size mythological masterpieces like The Birth of Venus, Sandro Botticelli produced some of the most celebrated paintings of the Renaissance including this, Madonna of the Pomegranate, which hangs in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. And so it was assumed until now that this painting, among a collection in London, was just a later imitation of that famous work by an unknown artist. Until the experts began to look a little closer. First, they peeled back a hundred years' worth of thick yellow varnish and dirt that had obscured the fine brushstrokes. Then x-rays revealed the construction. You can see the diagonal grains of the poplar wood panel, a technique used in the Renaissance period. Then microscopic pigments of paint were analysed to accurately date the painting. It was only when conservators made the difficult decision to remove a halo that had been painted on much later in the 19th century that they uncovered the original design in Botticelli's trademark style. It was the final piece in the jigsaw. And how did you feel that moment that you realised you were standing in front of the real deal? It's one of those amazing moments in conservation. I'm very privileged to do the job that I do. I was on my own in the studio. I immediately text my colleague. You can see it for yourself at the Ranger's House in Greenwich from next week. Rebecca Barry, News at 10.